Okay, uh, hello everyone. My name is Jong Yun. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about uh, what is the Mendeley Citation Style Editor. So this is my outline for today's presentations. I'm going to talk about who am I, about me, and Mendeley Citation Style Editor. And then I'm going to give as an example uh, for case study. And I'm going to give uh, small tips how to use uh, Style editor and at the end I'm going to give as a question. If you have any question, you can ask me anytime. All right? Okay, so I'm a PhD student in epidemiology and biostatistics of public health at UNLV and I'm working as a graduate research artist assistant at Nevada Institute of Personal Medicine. So if you have kind of question, you can just send me an email or you can just uh, send me a, a message to the GitHub. Uh, this is my uh, usual name for GitHub. Okay, so I have been using uh, Mendeley about a year, so this is kind of not long time. But previously, I used the papers. I'm not sure you are familiar with the papers or not. So uh, with starting my program at UNLV, I switched to the Mendeley. The reason is that uh, UNLV provide uh, Mendeley as a free to the graduate students. And with unlimited storage, okay, and also the, uh, Mendeley has a nice function of desk, uh, the desktop. So we, that's why I switched to Mendeley, and then as of today, I'm kind of very satisfied with this uh, program, right? Okay, so I want to talk about how we can use Mendeley citation style editors. So what is the CSL editors? Sorry. Uh, this is a it is a power tool hosted by Mendeley, which allows you to quickly and easily modify a citation style. I just got it from Mendeley CSS editor website. So if you want to know more about Mendeley CSS editor, then you can go to this website. Then you there is a, they have a very nice uh, example and also description of each function you can use it. Okay. And if you want to know more about CS Editor, I recommend to go to this website. Okay, and then here this uh, GitHub website, so they uh, contains all uh, a lot of customized uh, citation style. So before uh, you customize, before you try to customize your uh, own style, I recommend you go to this website first, and then search. Whatever journal you like, they might have your uh, the journal style here. If not, then you need, then you should create your own. Okay. So that's the purpose of my presentation today. Okay. So as a case study, uh, I prepare uh, two example. Okay. So let's say you want to submit your work to the particular journal. And this journal wants to have a reference style, something like this. So it is identical to IEE, except author names must be displayed in bold, okay, in the bibliography. And if there is a multiple authors, for example, more than five, then list four five authors and make other author as a ETAL, okay. So let's go over the fourth example, simple example. So let's change author name to board in the bibliography. To do that, so if you use desktop version of Mendeley, then you can go to view citation style, most file, and then right click on the style you want to edit. Then you will direct to the website here. Okay. Since you want to have board in the author name in the bibliography, then you can click the example bibliography. Then you will go to the author on the layout. You can change to B. The board in the text formatting. Okay, so this is kind of a step by step I list in the slide. So let's do the demonstration. Okay, so if you so if you go to the Mendeley desktop, so go to view and click view and citation style, and then so we want to have more style, right? So click more style. And so we want to uh, customize IE format, right? So you can just go click IE and then click right click your mouse and then click edit style. And click edit style. 
then it will direct to the visual CSL editors. All right? Uh, note that this visual CSL editor is uh, found by csl.mendeley.com. Okay, so I'm going to give uh, another website too later. Okay, so oh, this is uh, I have already created another new one. So let's create a new one. So create a new style. Uh, let's create style ID in maybe example. Let's test. Okay, test and click OK. All right, so. Uh, let's talk about this uh, website here. In the website, so you have a style info, an inline citation, bibliography, and macro. So macro is kind of the functions of uh, each uh, uh, unique uh, name on it. Okay, and then on the upper uh, block here, this is give you the example citation. So example in citation, example citation, and the example bibliography. So this is inline citation. This is how you can see in your bibliography. Under the under this block, there is an info. Okay. So title means so this is uh, your customized uh, site style name. So I will name it as IE and my name and then so whatever I just name. You can change whatever you like here. Okay. Under this, so this you can just ignore this part. So this is a uh, kind of uh, information how who developed this uh, cite citations. Okay. Okay. So as of our first example, so you want to have bold in our author name, right? So to to change to the bold, so if you go to the author, then you can see you can just click author name. If you click it, then you can see here. So it expand your window here, right? And then so you in the under the name, so we want to have bold. You can just click bold here. Then you change the the board, your order, right? All right, good. Okay, so once you do that, let's try uh let's try reference in our word file. So to exit, if you go to click save style, then it's saved to your customized style. Okay, and then um, yeah. So this is my old one and this is my uh, new one. Okay, so click done. Okay, and then let's do let's go to the word file. If you have your paper, for example, uh, so this is uh, so this is an example uh, reference. Okay, so I want to have. Uh, let's 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 uh, okay let's do let's reference this paper for example if I want to reference this one then I just copy the title name and if you go to reference and then go to insert and then you cut you paste your uh, the paper name then you can see here it just come out and then click OK so this is a uh, inline citation oh the reason I have three here uh, as a practice, I did uh, on the on the here. Uh, okay. Let's see, let's remove here. And then, so since you want to have more in the bibliography, okay. So let's remove this one. Okay, and then let's update. Okay, so here, so I uh, cite this paper in line citation. Since this is IE format, so it's one. And then since we changed the ball in the author name in the bibliography, so you can see here is the ball. All right. Okay, let's go to the, our second example. So our second example is this. Uh, so list post five authors and make others as uh, ETAL. Okay, so you want to change if there is a multiple authors. For example, more than five authors, then list the uh, first five authors and make other author as ETO. So if you have existing style, then you can choose existing style to edit the same process. But here is a kind of a technique we need to implement. 
So to show false five authors, so you need to set ET, uh, ETAL min, minimum to 5 and ET, uh, ETAL use false to 5. Okay, so this means that if there is five authors and minimum, then you use uh, ET or ETAL. Okay, so, and then if there is more than five authors, then you list false five authors and others as ETAL. Okay, so uh, let's, let's uh, do a uh, demonstration in the Mendeley. So if you go to uh, here, so let's go to view and citation style. So you want to uh, more style same, and so we want to uh, fix this one. Right? Go to edit style. So I okay. So it's loading right now. So once we can see the website. So uh, uh, open your exist existing style, click OK. So we want to uh, edit the existing style, which is we just create to change author name in bold. So it's bold right now. So to change to the ETAL, you need to go to the author, click the author name. Okay. And you can see here name. If you go to click name here, then you see here ETAL mean. So this means, so ETAL, in order to have ETAL minimum, we need to have at least five authors. Okay, so this is 25. And then we use ETAL, use force, what? Five authors, right? If we have multiple authors, then we use force five authors. And then ET or ETAL. So we just change this 5 to 5 and then we can just click save style and open Mendeley desktop okay so it just uh, uh, updated and let's uh, let's let's do this one uh, let's copy another uh, example for example this one uh, so I just copy the paper name and let's go to the this one, the word file. And so this is my full citation. And then so this is my it uh, ETO example, right? So let's uh, cite insert and then paste and click OK. And let's see. Uh, um, it gave me only two. Did I update it? Is this the one? Oh, because I think. Oh yeah, sorry. Because before I record this uh, presentation, uh, I did another example. Okay, so this is the one. Then if we see here, so we have one. Two, three, four, five authors is showing as a false five, and then last of them are ETAL. Okay, so this way you can customize your reference style based on the existing the reference. Okay, hopefully uh, it makes it makes sense to you. Okay, so uh, as, as a small tips. Uh, what I found out in last November is that there is a bug with the Mendeley version of the editors. Okay, so if the Mendeley CS editor website is not working correctly, so then try to add your style here. So as I talk about in the Mendeley, they have a CSTL dot editor, but if you remove them, then you can change uh, your reference to editor. For example, if you try to save your existing style, then sometimes the Mendeley give you the error message, something like this. Then I recommend you go to this website, okay, and they edit your existing style, then it works, right? Okay, hopefully uh, it helped your research. Okay, so if you have any question, you can send me an email. All right, anytime. I try to uh, help you as much as I can. Okay. 
All right. Thank you very much.